The McElroy brothers are not experts. And their advice should never be followed. Travis claims he's a sexpert. If there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so you babies out there know how cool you are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed. It's ripened into a precious friendship. Feels like life. Ah, it's better, it's better with you. My life. Ah, it's better, it's better with you. This is true. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my brother, my brother, me and advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin Tyler McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis Patrick McElroy. And I'm the Deese's favorite son, Griffin McElroy. I don't know. That's two home, I, two home. T- Two hometown guys in this one, because I did, while Sid studied at Walter Reed, I lived inside Chevy Chase for a month. (laughs) Hold on. Piloted him. I've said that in the weirdest way possible. Let me see. You meet Dave Chevy Chase. uh, Uh, It was more of a being John Malkovich situation. It was just Justin in there. Before Before we come out, Paul asked us what we wanted to drink, and I had a little bit of a caffeine headache. So I said, I'd like a uh, Diet Coke and White Claw. And then Paul said, okay. And he came back two minutes later and he said, when you said you wanted a Diet Coke and White Claw, did you mean in separate cans or mixed together? Now, and, I, and, I, and I had this thought like, how bad have I fucked my brand? Yeah. That like, it requires clarification. Justin, that, like, you invented the white wine. Yes. That is red wine and White Claw. There's a precedent set. At, at which I believe um, uh, one publication asked, is it the drink of the summer? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> well, when summer concluded, I think the jury is in. <laughs> Didn't work out. I, I want to give a special end of tour. This is our last uh, official show of the 2022 uh, Fancy Takes Flight Tour. Thanks. Thank you. The uh, last, my brother, my brother, and me. Yeah, our friends, the McElroy family, will do the adventure zone yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, I meant from a Bim Bam, and I, for one, cannot wait to get out of this monkey suit. <laughs> oh, the starch involved. Special commendation for Paul, who during Wonderful, I was introduced to a song called "Debut," and. <laughs> The thing about Debut, great song, pretty long intro. So I asked Paul if he could, the verb choice I made was bad. I asked him to scrabble to Debut, by which I thought anyone would understand meant fast forward. Scrabble? Scrabble to Debut. <laughs> but the problem with Debut is it's a loud song. And so Paul heard me say, scramble, do Debut. And so when I asked Paul, can you fast forward, in my mind, I, from my perspective, it was, the energy for me was, Paul, can you fast forward to the chorus of the song we're listening to right now, Debut? And what Paul heard from his perspective, (laughs) which is fully legit, and I am not trying to, like, dismiss that, was, hey, Paul. Do the butt. My my co-worker, I... (laughs) demand <laughs> you come on stage and you perform to butt for everyone and he did he did he did do it yeah. Yeah. it was a terrible terrible comedy of errors 
That has right, that has right. for forever shifted the power dynamic between myself and Paul Saboran. An excellent test of loyalty that we don't do enough. That I though. didn't want. <laughs> yeah, but now you know. It's too much. I shouldn't be allowed to demand that anyone do the butt at any time. P highlight of the tour for me. Um, this is an advice show. Um, what we do on this show is we take your questions and we turn them alchemy-like into wisdom. We're so happy to have you here, so many of you here. Thank you so much, Washington, D.C. You're, you're really wonderful. But enough flattery. Whoa. On with the show. Isn't it weird to drive around and just drive past the White House? <laughs> It's it still it kind should of, be hidden, I feel it like. It just feels like you shouldn't just be able to look at him. I recently bought a house, and the previous owners left an Xbox behind. Nice. The Xbox is still... An original Xbox. It's, I don't think so. Because a the Tiffany's record. Xbox. <laughs> um, clearly, <laughs> this, clearly, the Xbox itself is mine now. Yeah. Clearly. But it's a built-in. Yeah. Do I need to log it's in? It's a load-bearing Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part of every fixer upper. Yeah. When Jim Gaines is like, we need to put a couple of Xboxes <laughs> over uh <-huh>. there. <laughs> this eye beams one is like six inches short. Oh, wait a minute. Are you done playing Banjo Kazooie? You're done playing Banjo Kazooie. Great. Boop. Uh, do I need to log into my own account? The the old owner had streaming subscriptions that I don't. And, and, and this is the Xbox that they had here for when they rented their house out on Airbnb. That's from Shaylin. Just because of how causality works, I'm assuming you've already been wheezing the juice, so to speak, I and have not been waiting on our <laughs> permission to do so. Oh, I can't wait to start lock and key as soon as the McElroy brothers <laughs> say me it's can. okay. Um... I, I would posit for a moment that those streaming subscriptions in the Xbox are like of a previous owner left like flower bulbs in the garden. This is something that's going to keep giving over and over again, right? Yeah. Or like buried treasure underneath, or like buried bodies underneath the floor, either one. Yeah. It's your problem to deal with one way or the other. Maybe their fucking Katie ratio is so garbage. This is the only way they could get rid of it. They left it with a note of like, and play some Halo if you have time. Play some if you, turn if on you're not on Oh, YouTube. shit, yeah. X, free Xbox is going to meet up with my friend Master Chief. But then you log on. It's like, your KD ratio is trash. <laughs> Wait, the Xbox says that? <laughs> yeah. It's been a while since I played Xbox. Yeah, it's, they got all kinds of new features now, including a human mouth that appears on the Xbox and says, your ratio is trash, kid. Give me some Cheetos. <laughs> Feed me a cat. <laughs> Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> so, I, I think, has, there, has anybody ever gone to a place where there is a rented, uh, uh, like, like an Airbnb situation, where many people have been allowed to use a streaming subscription where the algorithm has just been ruined? <laughs> They have no idea what you are. Like, if you push the wrong thing at this point, they will call the police. You're not a person. <laughs> the YouTube search in particular is a rowdy. Oh, yeah. Oh, rowdy. Boy. Because that often becomes a stream of consciousness thing. Yeah. Where it's just like marble run uh, crypto. Mar <laughs> marble run crypto. Ron Paul car wash song. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Flay Meltdown Good Hat 2009 what? Mind of Mencia Season 3 Part 1 <laughs> Best of Best, Best of, of. R Uncensored <laughs> Obviously If you are going to pull this grift your two main options are starting a new sub account on the account and but pick the name settings that's just one that I learned on the internet <laughs> <laughs> or you watch only what they have watched most recently, <laughs> which is a fun, a fun con to run where it's like, what's on tonight? Mind Hunter again? <laughs> Why do they only watch season two? They keep and just the middle four episodes. They keep start. They started the crown and came right on back to Mind Hunter. 
I was getting really into the crown. I'm currently in college studying forensic science as my major. I specialize in forensic anthropology, which is the study of bones and dry remains. I love that show. Overall, my parents are very supportive of this. However, there is one problem. My mom is convinced that at some point when I'm studying ancient skeletons and unsolved murders, I'm going to get haunted or be the victim of an ancient curse. I've tried convincing her that ghosts are not real, to no avail. Brothers, how do I convince my mother that I can protect myself from these ghosts and curses? What do I tell her to calm her superstitious worries? That's from Deadly Desperation in D.C. We haven't proven that life on other planets exists, but I bet many people in this room believe that it might be true. Are you equating the existence of aliens and the existence of ghosts? Because this is, we are, this is not Chapo Trap House, Travis. We can't. Now, Griffin, I will say, and Justin, uh, you probably Please know welcome to the state Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about aliens and ghosts, baby! Uh, We're fucking our whole thing I'm up saying, tonight, baby! We, we didn't fucking know germs existed until like 200 years Jesus ago. Jesus Christ, we're tiptoeing toward the threshold! <laughs> I, toward this very real conversation, Travis! I'm just saying, uh, I, no, but I'm just saying that you're being wildly blasé. Yeah. Uh, when, you're, when your mom... Okay, it also just hit me hearing the question. Uh, dead bodies, great, great, great. Unsolved mysteries. There is a danger there. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm studying an unsolved murder, but I'll be fine. I've be watched okay. a lot of TV there, shows and movies, but, friend. But you know, this is like all mummy on mummy stuff. Like it's all whoa, long shit. time ago crimes, right? Okay, history, but here's it's like the thing: history crimes. You make an excellent point, Justin. Thank you. Ghosts might not be real, but you know what's definitely real? Mummies. Mummies. Yeah, mummies and skeletons. Ghosts isn't skeletons the only are threat. Definitely real. Yeah. If you've ever watched the hit documentary "The Mummy" with Brendan Fraser, <laughs> then you'll know that he was not a ghost. He was but a mummy who killed. Right. Yeah. Sure. He was a fleshy, wrapped. Skeleton, so which, it's which do exist. They do definitely exist. Yeah, and sometimes the Discovery Museum is like, "Hey, we have a special mummy exhibit. Bring your son." And I'm like, "Are you out of your fucking mind? That's a real mummy, gang. <laughs> That's like they're like, hey, you want to see a dead body? Hey, it's us, Nat Geo. You want to see a dead body? It's cool. A lot of time has passed." <laughs> Hey, um, it's old. And all it doesn't up. even count anymore. Bring your five-year-old. In a thousand years, are people just going to go around digging up graveyards? <laughs> Be like, we put this in a museum now. You want to see uh, a dead body? Oh, that's a whole dead body. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, uh, I would like to challenge the part where you say your parents are very supportive. Because if they think you might be murdered by ghosts, I hope they're not very supportive. I think that's... <laughs> I think that's like a mild support at best. That's like a grimacing sort of acceptance that your kid is in great, great danger from, from ghosts and mummies. There aren't too many careers that would be on the front lines of a mummy-esque massacre, but mummy specialist is yeah. high on the list. I oh, my! Say. I'm a professional mummy toucher. <laughs> you, if you want to give your mom the respect she so richly deserves... She raised you. I would give yourself a few ground rules that you do try to follow for her own peace of mind. Number one is, of course, don't have sex on the sarcophagus. <laughs> That's number one. If I may, number two, don't bring someone back that you met at a party and you're both drunk and you're like, look at this cool mummy I've been working on. Yeah, yeah. Don't say... make him pretend to talk or rap, please. <laughs> <laughs> They will kill you. And for I know that. the wordplay is fucking hysterical. So we funny. get it, okay? Don't eat a hamburger on the sarcophagus. Oh, don't do yeah. anything on the sarcophagus. In fact, don't touch it. Don't, don't touch it. Actually, your mom's right. Yeah, okay. you know what? <laughs> on second thought, maybe get a real job. <laughs> yeah. Come on. So hostile. Oh, like podcaster. <laughs> yeah, right? How much money would you have to be paid to touch a mummy? I, the amount doesn't exist for me. I'm not trying oh, to fuck up. Oh, I would whole... pay money to touch a mummy. <laughs> okay, never mind. This is a bad question. Yeah, you shouldn't yeah, ask should, that. We're different people, fundamentally. We're very different people. Um, my hairdresser is my cousin's daughter. Oh, it feels like a good time for a bit, though, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Hey, I've got a game. Yeah. The most dangerous game. 
A little thing called minion quotes. Okay. See, Paul, that one's good. That's yeah, don't a great, worry. That I like. I so like here's the one. way this is going to work. If Paul has done his job correctly, then we're going to show some images with the character erased. Did you do that, Paul? He shrugged. Okay, great. Um, there will be a caption associated with it. Uh, funny, inspirational, who knows? Moving. And moving. Deeply touching of mummies. And uh, I'm going to read it, and you guys will guess what the character is. If you get it correct, I will post it to Facebook and Instagram, because apparently they post to the same place. <laughs> oh, that's great. I've learned in retrospect. And if you lose... Absolutely nothing happens to you. Oh, good. Yeah, uh, yeah good I game. know. I love it. Yeah. Okay. I, I made it up, and then for some reason, you're like, sounds good. I'll do it. <laughs> it's a very bad game for myself. I'm sorry I have such great fortitude. Quote number one. Let's now, this it. one is a palate cleanser. Okay. What does that mean? Dear God, I want to take a minute not to ask for anything, but simply to say thank you for all I have. Minion. Why, why is it a palate cleanser? Because it's not a cartoon character? No, because I wasn't going to post it. What if we get it, though? We'll see. Okay, so you... is Bart Simpson. I'm going to stick with Minion. Damn it. Travis! Now, I'm... I oh, Travis, you've never pre-lost before. I'm, I will say... I'm proud to post that one <laughs> because that is how I feel. Okay. <laughs> That's why it was a palate cleanser. These are the real ones because I would have posted that one anyway. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> because we don't take enough time yeah, next that on your own Facebook page. Yeah, it was already up there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Nani agreed to cross post it. That's where he found it. Okay, quote number two. These are the real ones. Same shit, different day. Fuck. I mean, instant. Palette tone is like I'm loving Yosemite Sam right now. It's giving Yosemite Sam. Hey guys, it's it's tour manager Paul. Can I ask a quick rules question here? Yeah. Technically, yeah. this minion quote image has two different characters. Correct. They can get either one. Thank you, Paul. Travis, you should have said that. All right. Thanks, Paul. If they get either one, if they get one. They can eat my shorts. No, <laughs> if they get one, Wait, I'll it, post wait, it. If it. Is it Bart Simpson? Because was no. that a clue? Okay. Shit. If they get one, I'll post it. If they get both, I'll post it this day again next week. <laughs> He'll um, post it weekly until yeah. this time next year. Uh, is it two, Griffin? Do you think it's the two? The two? Is it like a pair? Do you think? I'm gonna say and look at Travis's face when I say it. Is it Tom and Jerry? But it's like an uh, like you would never. Say, you would never say Tom and then sit there. <laughs> and then and not like, say Jerry. You would yeah. never say like Tom. You know, the cat, Tom. Um, so I... Maybe Taz and Tweety. Like okay, let's reveal. Oh, wait. Hold on, wait. Yeah, so... We're two for two. This has never happened before. Yeah, that's Sylvester and Tweety. So far, Justin has gotten both. Yeah, yeah, I'll try to it's do It's going to be a fun day on my Facebook. <laughs> I hate this game more and more with every second. Yeah. Quote number three. Is it okay to lose your shit sometimes? No, 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 Trav, it's not a question. It is okay. Oh, it is okay to lose your shit sometimes because if you keep your shit, you'll end up full of shit and then you'll explode. And then there will be shit everywhere, a shit storm, and nobody wants that. Gandhi. <laughs> Famous character... Gandhi. Ah, oh, what a character he was. Gandhi. Oh, shit. I really want you to post this on your wall so fucking bad. <sighs> okay. Okay, Griffin, I'm going to think it really hard. I'm going to try to help you oh, that this way. This is great. We've never done ESP on stage before. I feel like you're not actually sending No, it. I'm thinking it's so hard. It's good audio. It's good audio. Justin, what's your guess? 
I'm still receiving. Justin, Travis is still. I'm still thinking it. I'm so hard. Fucking theta waves, just like filling. I'm like really. I. I'm torn between Bugs and Stewie. That's where I'm like, but the the only reason I'm not just saying Bugs is because the shape of the words feel like Stewie. (laughs) The gap feels like a Stewie gap, right? It wouldn't be a Bugs gap. It would be a Stewie. Oh, I know what it is. Is it Donald Duck? No. Fuck! Fuck! I'm, I'm gonna say, is it one of them? Don't answer that. I'm gonna say Bugs Bunny. Reveal. <laughs> I was thinking Grogu so hard. I was just saying Grogu, Grogu, and Grogu. And I heard it, Travis, but that's not a real word. And so I was like, what is he oh. really... Tr- I'm hearing Grogu, but that's nothing. So he must be trying to tell me... The last one, please, Paul. Damn it. You're doing four today. Good morning, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Let the bullshit begin. Jane Seymour. What? Not Jane Seymour. I didn't say Jane Seymour. Um, John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> Jane Seema. Hi, everyone. I'm John Seema. (laughs) (laughs) These are my morts. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Good morning. Read it again one more time. Good morning, fuckers. Let the bullshit begin. Is this one also Baby Yoda? That's not my real guess. Live action or cartoon? Can you give us that? No. Okay. Then it's live action. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say baby fucking Yoda. You had a look on your face when I said baby Yoda that made me It's because I was thinking it before, Griffin. I'm still bouncing around the room. I'm just now getting the baby Yoda waves, Travis. I want it it to be Dwight from The Office. I want it to be... I'm going to say that. Maybe it'll happen with the power of the secret. I'm going to say... Dwight from The Office. I'm going to say... Fuck! I want it so bad! (laughs) You want me to think it again? Yeah. <laughs> Yogi Bear? No. Uh, I couldn't say if it was cartoon or real life because it's both. Travis, clearly not. That's Kermit the Frog, baby. That is not, he is not rendered in illustri- in moving <laughs> illustration. But he was in Muppet Babies. And, That's and ironically, the cartoon all stars against Smoke Gang. Wow, that is This is, is bullshit. You, all, you guys beat me two out I of know, four. I know, I wanted more, though. You wanted more than two wins? Let's, let's start the quiet. The next yeah, next question. I'm current. Okay. Please post those, by the way, right now. While yeah, I don't have my phone. My hairdresser is my cousin's daughter. We are. No. My hairdresser is my cousin's daughter. Wait. My hairdresser is my cousin's daughter. Okay. We can't already be lost. We are close in age and definitely knew each other when we were younger, but haven't been to family events at the same time in many years. Her grandma, my aunt, posted her work, and I decided to start going to her to color my hair. I have now been going for a year, about four appointments, and the fact of us being related has never come up. Neither of us has ever mentioned it. Should I bring it up? And if so, how can I? Colorful hair in the Carolinas. They definitely, when you left the first time, their first thought was, why didn't they mention the fact that we were related? (laughs) That was really weird. And then you probably thought, why didn't they mention the fact that we were related? That's really weird. I'll do it next time. Yeah. Uh, okay, wait. I'm going to ask one follow-up question. Uh, just yes or no. Do you have the same last name? But they she would okay. Recognize, she would recognize like, I yeah. did say <laughs> yes or no. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. That additional information was extremely helpful. Huh. 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 It's important no matter what you do that you do it after you have paid for the haircut so it does not seem even like a little bit like you are like, let me get that kind of cousin's discount. Could you just like unprompted be like, isn't it weird that we're related and haven't talked about it yet? Again, after you've paid for the haircut, or else it's going to seem like you're sort of half-acidly trying to... Okay, can I say, though, 
I think the paying for the haircut, we're goofing around about it, but I, I have a feeling that's what happened here. Let me take you back. Okay. If I, no one knows what a haircut is going to cost ever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even sure what happens during one. My eyes are closed. They don't most talk of the about time. it a lot because they know after your hair gets cut, they got gotcha. you. So no one knows what a haircut is going to cost. You can't uncut the hair. You can't uncut the it hair. On, it's no? done. They got gotcha. you. But I, I think that. Both Can I just say, you, sorry, you've just made me think. Sorry, Justin. Justin, if I may interrupt this you for the be first time. the funniest shit <laughs> ever. It's up there. Get ready. Oh, get, hold, brace your asses, DC. You're about to hear the funniest shit ever. I think. Hit him with it, Travis. There should be a precedent set. Yeah. That once your hair is cut, if you don't want to pay, they get another 30 minute go at your hair before you get to leave. So, if either one of you had brought up the familiar relationship, you would have immediately realized, man, it's going to be weird when it gets to the charging them time. Because they're going to be wondering, should I charge them? And I'm going to feel bad about charging them, but not that bad, because I did cut their hair, and it is my job. Uh, and so, like, I'll talk to them after. And then it's like, <laughs> they sign the thing, and then as they're walking out the door, like, and you're my cousin, remember? <laughs> This was a weird time to bring it up. You're already leaving. Okay, I won't. I'm not going to say it. I'll just think it. <laughs> There's no time before the exchange of money that would be uh, not weird. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually thinking now, when is the time? There that, isn't like, one. That's, that's why they've the gone. Whole yeah, I think. What I'm just saying is like, when is the best moment? Is it like you're reading a magazine? You're like, huh, isn't that weird? I didn't know these two people were related. You know, like we're related. I like, I like, um, how's your, how's your mom? Now, without any context, though, Justin. Yeah. That sounds like a weird come on to that person's yeah, mom. So yeah. how's your mom doing? Okay. That yeah, or you have yeah. snipers positioned outside yeah. there. You already know how the mom is doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but. You better nail this haircut. Now okay, give me is, the codes to the museum. This, this is it. There is, For a heist I'm doing See, like. okay, just let me talk. Yeah, go ahead. There is context because you're related and you know that. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> that's the context. But the context of, is that you're, uh, how's your mom? That, if the cousin doesn't know that they're your second cousin. They do. How? We do, they do. They definitely do. The assumption is that they do. There's no assumption. They know it. I can tell. How? Oh. You look at so, wait, so Justin, there's no assumption I can tell. <laughs> you just look at he it, was you know. There, Travis, you can look at the it. text on your computer screen and I know. know. Look between the lines, it's there, you know. But no assumption. Uh, there wasn't assumption. You're just reading between the lines. Like, just, no assumption you can tell between from, those synonyms. Except for the one I, there are no assumptions after the gigantic <laughs> assumption that Justin has just made. On stage. You could tell from the way they answered from the audience. They knew. Yeah, so why are you even asking? <laughs> no. We well, can tell by the way you answered. You already know that this they know. This is a fucking mess up here, and what? it didn't need to be. <laughs> why did you make us fight like this? <laughs> this is your fault. You bring this bullshit to my house? <laughs> Look at my brother. Look what He's embarrassed. Did. He's so embarrassed because of the thing you brought to our doorstep. What about, tell me about your mom. <laughs> Make sure you say it like the Joker, like Justin just did for some reason. What about catch I'm just a dog about, chasing your mom. What <laughs> about catch me up on your mom? Your mom hasn't been posting on Instagram lately. What's she went up to? Oh, hey, wait. What's the 411 with your mom? Because your mom's still doing those sick kick flips? <laughs> you can just tell if you look at it, they know they both know. Yeah. Of course they know. For sure, definitely. You can just tell they know. You can just tell. Uh, so my do, do you have a bit? My house, yeah, no. My house. It's been so long since we did a. It's bit. been five minutes. <laughs> it's been five minutes. My house caught on fire, but it's chill now, and half the house is getting restored while I'm living in the other half. So the question is, how do I coexist and not embarrass myself in front of the people fixing my house? Should I interact with them or leave offerings or can't? Do you know? Can you tell already the one you shouldn't? 
<laughs> leave offerings or can I just hide the whole time? That's from Burning Question in Pennsylvania. Okay. Hello. Okay. okay. Good. I Hello. just want to say how much I love the word choice of restored. Like your house is a great masterpiece painting. Yeah. I enjoy that immensely. So I burned down half of my house and now it's being restored <laughs> <laughs> to its original. Um, you don't leave offerings. You know that. You know that. Now, now hold on. They are not some bountiful spirits come to... But I or a my... friendly magpie. <laughs> yeah. I know myself, though, and if I made too many scones, yeah, sure. I will be the guy who's like, knock, knock, knock. Yeah. <laughs> How's it? Knock, knock, knock on this plastic sheeting separating... That's... Travis, that's why I said knock, knock, knock. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. I got scones. It has been my experience whenever people who are far more qualified and skilled than I am to fix or do anything in a house... Uh, that they do not really want my assistance <laughs> <laughs> or uh, feedback at all. Or there presence. Is, presence, really. You will yeah. be so tempted to just be like, it was, it was more square than that. Mm, going with wood for that, huh? Good, <laughs> choice. Good choice. Have you thought about wedging a few Xboxes on, under there? <laughs> Structural Xboxes. Load-bearing. I had a lot more built-ins. Ooh. I that, love built-ins. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I try to make it into built-ins. Um, I, I, you know, my problem now is whenever people are doing that kind of thing, it's hard for me to not be like, teach me how what you're doing. Yeah, teach sure. me how to do I want to learn how to do that. Tell That's me. part of this, right, is that you'll teach me your whole <laughs> craft. I don't know if that would be like, knock a few bucks off or charge double (laughs) for my assistance. Oh, see, my biggest fear is that someone working on my house will ask me a basic question about how I want something done. Yeah. And I will instantly in that moment realize I don't know. Yeah. Not just how to answer, but what they're talking about. Right, yeah. And I'll go uh, to the left and then I'll (laughs) run out of there. Use the uh, nails. Um, and then they'll be like, I think this is actually my house now. Yeah. You don't deserve this. I, Where, uh, how do you want your hot water heater hit, uh, your hot water heater fixed? Make it hot. Make it warmer. Oh, don't, I love that. Um, how, does your, how does your water get heated? Is it gas or electric? And there hasn't, I've been asked that question probably 20 times in my years on this earth. There hasn't been a single one. I haven't been like, let me go down there and look. At it. <laughs> well, I, to let the me go point, down there and poke Someone will ask me it. to turn a breaker off. And I'll go to where the breakers are labeled, and it'll just say, like, receptacles. And I'm like, well, that could be That's anywhere. That's nothing. And Wall. What I, the fuck? As soon as I get in front of the breaker box, I start, like, ticking clock in my head. How long it's taking before they're going to jam a screwdriver into something? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's and off. I better flip that breaker as quickly as Switch possible. Switch this one specific one off, or I'll fucking die. I went down there earlier. I know you have one labeled 2F, so... <laughs> I'm not feeling great about my chances. It's better. It's better with you. All right, Griffin, you're all alone. You can do this. You can do this. You don't need your two brothers. They're holding you back. You can sell products and services easy. You know what would make selling products and services even easier, though, is if I had a website to do so. And I don't know how to make a website. Um, I, I'm, I think it's like you draw a bunch of pictures and you upload them online and then you add little um, click, clicky spots to make the pages move. But Squarespace actually knows shit about what I just said. They're the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. They let you stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Uh, I've actually used Squarespace before to make a couple of websites, and it, it, it is easy. It is like the easiest way to make a website, in my humble opinion. Um, you can try drawing pictures and adding clicky links, but th- that isn't, I, I don't think, actually anything. They also let you create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. They got blogging tools. They got optimized for mobile stuff. Content automatically adjusts so your site looks great no matter where they're looking at it from at. So I want you to go to squarespace.com slash mybrother for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code mybrother to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Yes, baby. That's one. Let's keep the streak alive and tell you all about Babbel. It's the new year. Okay, it's like the middle of March, but 
you know, it is still technically the new year. And maybe you're dragging your heels a little bit on some of those uh, on, on some of those promises you made to yourself and your family members and the people that are special to you in your life. And maybe one of those things is uh, picking up some new skills. Well, guess what? In 2023, there's no better way to reinvent yourself than learning a new language. And there's no better way to learn a new language than with Babbel. Babbel makes it super fun and easy with bite-sized language lessons, uh, so you can feel confident no matter where the new year takes you. With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson, so you can start having real-life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. I've used a lot of different language learning apps, and Babbel is my favorite because it really is super easy to pick up and just knock out uh, a couple lessons when you have a a few spare minutes and you really feel like you're getting better at this and you can do it. And that is not a feeling that I have in many other avenues of my life. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash my brother. That's babbel.com slash my brother, B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash my brother for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Hey, while I've got you here, in the money zone. Uh, I'm going to tell you all about some upcoming events we've got. Uh, of course, we have the Mabim Bam Live and Virtual 20 Sun and Sea kickoff show this Friday, March 17th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Tickets are 10 bucks, and Sawbones is going to be opening, and we're going to have video on demand available for that uh, for two weeks after the event. Uh, but hey, we've also got some actual live shows, like in-person ones, coming up soon. Uh, and all the tickets for the stuff I'm about to say uh, go on sale this Friday, March 17th at noon local time. Uh, we're going to be doing the Bim Bam in Austin, Texas at Moon Tower Comedy Festival. That one's actually uh, on sale now. Uh, but we're also coming to Columbus, Milwaukee, Raleigh, Richmond, San Diego. Tickets for all of those things are at bit.ly slash McElroy Tours. We also still have some tickets available for our rescheduled shows in San Jose and Denver coming up uh, later next month. So uh, again, bit.ly slash McElroy Tours. Come see us. Also, we got new merch. We got generic podcast merch over at McElroyMerch.com. It's very good. And people are going to give you uh, like 100 to 200 compliments when you wear them. So go check that out too. Okay, bye. Two oh no Ross and Carrie, three beef and dairy all day. Max Fun Drive. Hey chef, we got another one. Another Max Fun Drive. People know it's the best time to support the shows they love. You tell them I'll meet up days back? Sure did. They wanted to know about the live streams though. Those are finishing up right now. We can even send one out on the first night, March 20th. March 20th, Chef! I'll give them a heads up. Uh, They also wanted the limited time thank you gifts for new and upgrading members. Yep, and we got some fresh episodes ready to go too. Hot stuff coming All right, we got exciting live streams, meetup day, fresh episodes, limited time gifts. Oh, and Boca. Yeah, um, okay, let them know that Max Fun Drive 2023 will be ready on um, March 20th, and it'll only be two weeks. Two weeks, Chef! Max Fun Drive starts on March 20th for just two weeks. No problem. Order up! Shoot, I forgot their water. And now, a live reading from Rachel's Poetry Corner. Elephants Theremin's Clifton, Neopets Pore Strips Jepson, Pine Smell Jelly Beans Goalie Goals, Skittles Squirrels and the Mole, Celery Chopsticks Pumpernickel, A Case of You by Joni Mitchell. Lullabies tie-dye, the more you know. All of these things on our wonderful show. All of these things and more wait for you on Wonderful every Wednesday on MaximumFun.org or wherever you download podcasts. dun 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 I want to munch Squad I want to munch Squad Welcome to Munch Squad It's a podcast within a podcast That profiles the latest and greatest in brand eating we normally, at the beginning of uh, live shows, will ask if it's the first time someone has experienced my brother, my brother, and me. We didn't ask that, but this segment always makes me think, for a first time, we're hearing a crowd of, like, 4,000 people yell, squad! Yeah. After yeah. a bunch, there must be, like, one person like, what the fuck? But then they go home and they're like, yeah, they all got really excited by a hamburger press release. 
I love this show. <laughs> it's a good show. I want to talk. About, I'm gonna get a tattoo. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about Subway a little bit, real quick. They got a new promotion where you can pay fifteen dollars for a month and be in the sub club, and you can get fifty percent off footlongs every day once for a month. That pays for itself. Yeah, but you are really making a lot of choices right well, there. Well, it sounds like you're making one big choice every month of I'm going to eat a fucking lot of Subway in November. The past well, if it's $5, that's just six subs in a month. Fifth, it's fi- I'm not sure that... $5 footlongs. Yeah. One you're day. paying 15 for yeah. half off. Yeah. That's six. So 12 footlongs late. F- five Go ahead, do- Juice. Thank you. Gosh. Uh, so I want to talk to you also about the Subway series, which is the 12 best and most craveable sandwiches in company history. Uh, Subway's offering nine of its biggest fans a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to make this all-star lineup a permanent part of their history in more ways than one. What? Subway's hosting a block party in Las Vegas at Bad Apple Tattoo, where nine super fans can get a real tattoo of the Subway Series logo from two-time Ink Master champion DJ Tombe, or a member of his team. I would like some clarity on that, <laughs> if I may. Um, what is he doing? I mean, I'd like to wait for him. Thank Tattooing you. eight other people. Yeah, depending on the size and location of the tattoo, fans can earn. This is where it gets rough. Subs for life is if you get a foot long. The foot long. That's a 12 by 12 Holy inch shit. tattoo. A 12 by no, 12 inch a, tattoo? They don't call them $5 foot deeps. So that's the foot long. A, the foot. A tw- the 12 inch by 12 inch tattoo on sternum or back. Get the fuck out. They're that specific about it? Well, where else? I guess you don't really have a whole lot of. I'll yeah. also say Square this from the, the company who said you're a, in the uh, like sub club, you get one a day. How many is slubs for life? Yeah, it, I'm gonna need some clarification. Uh, yeah, I don't think they have the specifics. But here's where it's rough: is if you get a three inch by three inch tattoo on shoulder blade, forearm, or calf, you earn subs for a year. Holy! But a tattoo shit. for life. A t- subs for life is the foot long, twelve inch by. 12 no, but inch. I'm saying yes. The tattoo doesn't fade away over. No, a no, year. no. But I'm recapping because for a two inch by two inch tattoo on wrist, bicep, or foot, you get subs for a month. That's that's it's, still it's, a ch- a pretty big chunk of flesh. Yeah, it's so fairly that, permanent. To clarify, because they specified the subway logo. They decided, yeah, they decided that getting they- a small Subway Permit. logo yeah. tattoo on your body is worth subs for, for one a month. month. About thirty-eight dollars. They that's why did you get that tattoo? Um, well, so I could get free Subway. Oh, nice. Thirty days later, why'd you get that tattoo? No reason. No reason now. No had reason a, at had all. A, had an awesome. Had a kick-ass reason. I now. love the Subway's like uh, mathematics there of like, well, we want someone who loves Subway enough to get a tattoo of Subway, but doesn't love it enough <laughs> that they don't want more than a month of subs. yeah, not. One foot by one foot of love. But the thing is, guys, the 12 inch by 12 inch is like the grand prize like of this. Oh, you have to win the opportunity to desecrate your fucking one body. It's hey. like if you did hands on a hard body who can keep their hand on the truck the longest, but you had to sever your own hand and glue it yeah. to the truck. And if you win, the truck hits you going full speed. Tattoo. Here's the quote. Tattoos hold a special meaning for my customers. They come to me to celebrate the things they love the most or to commemorate... Wait, is this the tattoo guy or the subway guy? <laughs> this, is the, this is DJ Tambe, tattoo artist. Okay, I thought you were talking from a subway uh, guy who was okay. like me, the CEO of Subway. Every friends, time someone comes in with a tattoo. <laughs> if someone comes into one of our restaurants, I know they're an ink freak. Whether that's the first time trying the Subway series or simply eternal love for Subway, I'm here to make that a permanent part of their lives and something to showcase. Unless... Apparently, I'm too busy, in which case my assistant, Greg, <laughs> now will, will do that. Sorry, DJ. You're willing to give this tattoo to someone who's trying Subway for the first time. <laughs> yeah, let's hope it's not that. You uh, won't let me get a tattoo drunk, 
but, but you will let someone go, I don't know, man. I've heard good things. Wouldn't you love to hear from uh, the, some of the people that would actually do this? No. Paul? <laughs> Well, lying along the sidewalk at Bad Apple Tattoo, all these people here just waiting to get a very specific logo. <laughs> yeah, not just any ink, a tattoo of the new Subway Series logo, and now one man will get it's free so much Subway worse. sandwiches for life. <laughs> That's right, Jeremy J. Ford spoke with the lucky winner today. <laughs> Subway yeah. is here promoting the new Subway Series with 12 new delicious sandwiches and a chance to win a lifetime of free subs. Guy. I have been thrilled to have made it this far and actually get the big tattoo. James Koontz came all the way from Colorado to be the first in line to get a foot-long tattoo. I'm a huge fan of Subway, so I Pause. thought about it. And just to clarify, you said you're a huge fan of Subway. That's uh, that's good to hear. I would be terrified if the I've, I've always been milk toast on Subway, more of a Quiznos guy myself. But uh, <laughs> I tell you, I tell you what, subs. I am budget conscious. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Paul. Sorry. I made it this far and actually got the big tattoo. James Koontz came all the way from Colorado to be the first in line right. to get a foot-long tattoo. I'm a huge fan of Subway, so I thought about it, and I was like, well, maybe I should fly out to Las Vegas. Arriving much, on Monday, right? he waited outside of Bad Apple for three days to get his first tattoo. You can't tattoo. just heard, like, say. Tattoos hurt, but they don't hurt, and I, now I kind of get that. Because we have one of the best artists in the country that works here. Making the partnership with the Subway a great promotional opportunity along this with is the block me party. Sad. Um, we got a <laughs> I've never been as sad after a month squad as I am in this moment. Listen, a lot of people say we are in the late stages of capitalism. I feel like this baby's about to rally. <laughs> And now we're announcing a Rally's tattoo. Can we have emblazoned over us for the remainder of the show the fucking wild banner of prove your dedication with ink? No, because people will do it. Don't do it for us. Do it for Subway. Do it for Subway. Which is also what it says at the Army Recruitment Center. Prove your fucking dedication with ink. Hey, we're going to call some people down to the microphone that is yes. directly center, center house, center stage. Uh, center. We have received your, your questions via the e email platform, and I'm going to start calling people down now. Hello. Oh, we you can calling, angle it down. It's, you can angle the microphone down. It's very close to the stage because they didn't want people to trip on cords. So that's why you're where you are. <laughs> You're probably thinking this can't possibly be right. I'm so close. I'm behind a speaker, basically. <laughs> I mean, I can still see you guys. It's okay. okay. You see true. Justin? <laughs> That's what matters. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All Hi. right. What's um, your name? So my name is Rachel. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. Um, Hi, I live here in D.C. Woo. Nice. Woo. Um, and I've heard good things. <laughs> um, still waiting to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my question is... My husband fridges his shirts. Yeah. So he kills them <laughs> off to motivate a comic book hero. <laughs> and how do I articulate that that's weird? Okay. So, so we go over questions backstage when we right. get the... And this is exactly what I was going to say. Yes. Thank this you. question came up. Griffin read it and he goes, that's nothing, right? I mean, no, just no, like, no, 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 because I get it. <laughs> yeah, Griffin. And Justin and I were like, why are you so blase why about are this? this? Going with it. We have feelings. Can it's we get like, a show of hands of people who've heard of putting shirts in a refrigerator before? Oh, what? shit. There really aren't that many. <laughs> hey, for you listening later, there's like six people, okay? <laughs> Griffin treated it like you had asked. Hey, let My me, husband, let me he's me. putting jelly with hey, peanut butter. Hey. Raise your hand if you saw Dumbo in the theater. <laughs> okay, so Tim Burton, I'm. So, hey, don't be afraid. It's okay if you saw Dumbo in the theater. I thought it'd be more people than your weird thing, but no, it wasn't. How um, many people like the movie Big Fish? Okay, let's not. Why are we going on a full? Okay, listen. You put the shirts. You know how shirt sometimes you wear it with your body 
and then your body puts a stink in it. Yeah. It's because your body fills it with microbes, and the microbes make a stinky smell when you put it in the refrigerator. Microbes There's get cold. It. If you don't let me finish this scientific <laughs> fucking deep dive, slow your roll and let me finish. Please, so please. Let me finish. Yeah, please. It makes it make the microbes die because they get too cold and the stink goes away. There is another machine in your house <laughs> that makes the stink go not, away. Not in everybody's. Now wait, hold on. Hold on. Not in everybody's house. There's right. another machine that exists in the a, world. Right? Do you have a clothes washing machine in your? We do, but it wasn't because it's. Well, it, it smelled bad, but that's not why he fridged it. <laughs> he he likes the cold. I have wasted everyone's time. He put it in the refrigerator, or pause. He put it in the freezer um, (laughs) because we were walking and it was a very hot summer day. Oh, fuck. (laughs) I'm actually, can I just say, I'm more on board with that. Because that seems like, can I ask you a question, Rachel? More than once? It's so weird because he What, more than once, Rachel? It, he did do it before we dated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great tone of voice to say that with. Um, does he still do it? <laughs> D- does the do, he hasn't done it in the like four years we've lived does it, together? Is that you know of? Is it to make him refreshing, like a cool treat to look forward to when he gets back from running? I think that's exactly why he did it because it was very can... hot, so he wanted like to cool down, but it was very strange to see him go away, come back shirtless, well, and, and to, then watch him like in the kitchen just pull a shirt out of the freezer. Yeah, or when you go to get a popsicle <laughs> and there's, there's, a, there's a nice Oxford in there. Can I just say, Rachel, and I wasn't expecting this when this question began, when we talk about it backstage, it seems like Griffin and I have switched positions. <laughs> Yeah. You come back from a hot, sweaty walk, throw your shirt in there for a couple minutes. How chilly and refreshing. Yeah. Completely reasonable to yeah, me. Yeah, man. It's the only cold zone in the whole place. <laughs> it is the coldest zone. It's the coldest zone by design. Thank you. Yes. There's lots of things that make stuff hot in the house. That's right. True. Yeah. Shower. A microwave makes Big things TV. instantly hot. Yes. Big TV, dishwasher. Big dog laying against it. Yeah, yeah. sure. Only one thing makes it cold. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm actually, Rachel, you're wrong. (laughs) Does does that help? I think you're right, Rachel, for what it's worth. This has been a really, yeah. Does that help, Rachel? It definitely helps. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did, hello. 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 Uh, My name is Tyler, he, him pronouns. Hi, Tyler. Tyler. Um, So my question is, what should I do about Louise Guzman's box that's been in my parents' attic for the last 17 years? Yeah, that's what we said. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, uh, Normally my first... Normally, someone's like, I don't actually need advice, but I do have a pretty wild anecdote. Normally, those <laughs> go in the bin. This one, we were like, we're going to need to hear a little bit more about this. We are going to need some details. Tyler, go ahead. Well, okay, so we got this house in uh, northern Vermont uh, like 17 years ago and we got it from Louise Guzman. Cool. No, okay, okay you okay, can't say I got it from him. <laughs> in a, in it, a high stakes <laughs> poker match. <laughs> uh, well, he owned it uh, and then I guess never really You squatted it. In it. Yeah, we, I'm going to be <laughs> honest with you, Tyler. You have immediately sucked a lot of the magic of this I'm, question out of this. It's it's a mysterious box and we've never Well no, because really Louise Guzman owned the house before you did. <laughs> and so if you had sent us a question in an email box that was like, hey, I bought Louise Guzman's house, he left some of his shit behind. He, he left his No, we would have called you <laughs> called you to the mic. I bought Louise Guzman's house and he left his Xbox behind. <laughs> Tyler, admit you've opened Louise Guzman's box. You've opened it. Narnia's open it, inside. Uh, huh? Admit you opened it. I, I've never seen inside of it. My parents looked That's in when we moved That's a very in. interesting way of answering my question, it's, Tyler. I've never looked inside of it. It's my parents. But you've smelled it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a proxy remove the content. I put my hands in it like a Halloween thing with the peeled grapes as eyeballs. That kind of stunt. 
I've I have felt Louis Goose on Spelagi. <laughs> I've bobbed in it with my mouth, but I was blindfolded. <laughs> Bobbing for Louis Goose Mons VHS tapes. Um, but my other senses were heightened. Yeah. <laughs> so what did your parents say is in the box? Uh, like some clothes and some... But it's buried in the deepest corners of our attic. But they know where it fucking is, they though, do. for sure. It's... Okay. <laughs> no, Luis, we don't need a reference photo of Luis Guzman. You're like bad Siri at this point, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were you talking about... You could have pulled the... up a goose man. <laughs> it would have been uh, Tyler, yeah. um, there's nothing for you here. <laughs> Rough, Tyler. It's I would say, Google how to get in touch with Luis Guzman to return his belongings to him. But I'm pretty sure the top result would be a WikiHow article. <laughs> and I'm not comfortable with sending people there voluntarily. I'll try to get. I'll try to get in touch. Does that Appreciate help? It. Yeah, for sure. All right, Thank good, you, good, good. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. My name is Jana. She Hi, Jana. pronouns. Hi. Hi. Uh, my question was, how do I get my ex's dad's French toast recipe? Is it? It's a great question. Would you like more context? Well, well yeah. Yes. But first, I do want to say when I read it backstage, I did think that it said, how do I get my ex dad's uh, <laughs> French toast I'm sorry, it's not that toast complicated. Recipe. And then we, yeah. Anyway, yeah, more context would be great. Um, so I went on vacation with when I was in high school with my boyfriend's family, and his dad made this really good French toast. And being a high school, I thought, we'll be together forever, so I don't need to ask for this recipe. But oh. then we broke up, and I never got it. And so, like, we talk sometimes about video games, but that's it. I don't know how to segue from, like, Mass Effect into French toast. Yeah. So, like, I need some help there. Jana, sure. how long has it been since it's, you've had this French toast? It's been, like, seven years, and I'm married now. Okay. <laughs> But I'm still thinking Jana, about the French toast. Yeah, I don't blame you. Jana, hey, listen. I know how that can feel sometimes. But if, if you found a new love, you should leave the old French toast yeah. in the past. Even yeah. if you get the recipe... It's never going to be as special. It's not going to be the same. It's That's not, not true. The same. It's probably... Is it, it was fucking, really no, good really French fucking toast. Good. No. Yeah. Oh, but Jana... That French toast is seasoned with seven years of memories. Yeah, you should leave You're going to eat that French toast now, and there is absolutely no goddamn chance unless, it lives up. Unless. unless. Puts you in a little boat headed back in time seven years ago when things were so much simpler, weren't they? <laughs> so why'd you guys break up? <laughs> <laughs> don't say, don't say, don't say. I, say this. I already know. I will say this. You said that you talk about video games sometimes. It's hard to transition from Mass Effect to French Toast. I will give you that. I would counter with it's probably a little bit easier than going from absolute radio silence for seven years <laughs> to... <laughs> Starting with, anyway... <laughs> hey, um, things didn't work out. Obviously, but what is it? Vanilla extract in the <laughs> milk before? What's the, when does it yeah. go? At least the lines of communication are open. Yeah. It's not like you're calling Louis Guzman after 17 <laughs> years and saying, I still have your box that you didn't know about. That's good. There's probably some people who saw the first picture of Louis Guzman and were like, I don't know who that is. No, I do like that this is a good representation of Louis Guzman through the years. Yeah. Sure. It looks like Luis Guzman's Facebook wall. <laughs> it's more like his MySpace. <laughs> yeah, probably. Can you say you've entered into a French toast contest and you're really des... Listen, I normally wouldn't hit you up after so long, but I'm in a pretty intense French toast contest. And then you can write back later when they're like, how did it go? You go, it turns out it was a toast contest in France. I fucking blew it. <laughs> That's, that's perfect. Thank you. Glad, glad we can help. Glad we can help. Thank, Thank you. you. If you find Thank the recipe, you. send it along. I'd love to make it. We can take the house lights away. Make now. them go away. There's too many of them, and they make me scared. Disappear the strangers. 
Sometimes when I see you all, I'm don't right wave at me. No, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm so scared. You can when it's just like this, you can pretend it's just you joking with your brothers. Then you see everybody, and you become very aware of the fact that this is a show. You have just that, talked about Subway for a long time. No, boy, of, you talked about Subway for a long time. For, boy, I'm glad you couldn't see their faces. Um, thank you so much to uh, Gosh, Amanda and Rachel and Paul and Wonderful. Thank yes, you so Sawbones. And Sawbones. Thank you. Uh, I want to say thank you to Saul for helping us sell posters yes, and Amanda who helps sell posters. Please be patient with um, Saul. He's doing his best. There's yeah. a lot of people who really want these posters. They're flying off the shelves. Speaking of which, designed by Kaylee Turvo. Tur- thank you very thank much. Thank you, Kaylee Turvo. Beautiful, beautiful posters. Um, thank you to Montaigne for the use for our theme song, My Life is Better with You. I think that's it. I think that's it. Thank you so much, DC. Thank yeah, you. To, thank we, you. Should we thanked Paul. Yeah, we thank Step Paul, off. for sure. Um, I feel like legally we should say thank you to Luis Guzman just to like yeah, cover for our everything. Actions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, and Griffin, you and had- every time we end the show, Justin does a little inspirational quote underneath a shrine that Paul has quickly constructed of Luis Guzman. Um. This is what you do every episode, so just do what you do every just episode. Just do your normal thing. Just spit out your normal stick. Why are you milking it? The, the stars... Yeah. Harf. The stars harf. <laughs> the, star, the stars... Yeah. yeah Good sure. start. The stars, my friend. The stars, my friend. <laughs> they are out there for the reaching. Keep at it. And Adam, forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thanks. <laughs> oh, my name's Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. This has been My Brother, My Brother, and Me. Kiss your dad square on the lips. MaximumFun.org Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.